Okay, today we are playing a game on Hanamura. The average SR of this game was 2,598, and we will be playing Doomfist the entire way through, if you can believe it. Doomfist in 2018, current year no less. Unbelievable. But let me tell you the truly incredible part of the story. So I get this email, and the title of the email is just Doomfist VOD PogChamp, all lowercase. And I'm like, obviously intrigued, I click on the email. No body text at all. That's it. Just links directly to the video, and that's it. Fucking Amit knows exactly what to say, and needs to say nothing more. Also, other fun thing, right? So I had to get this art of Doomfist to put there, because obviously I didn't have that ready. So I just type in Doomfist, and the very first Google autocomplete was Doomfist buff. It was higher than Doomfist Overwatch. So, tells you a lot about what people think about Doomfist, I think. Anyway, our current team composition is really bad, right? It's Orissa, Doomfist, Soldier 76, Widowmakers, and Yada, and Moira. So it's really bad, because our only tank is Orissa. Orissa needs, like, help to tank properly, right? So, no other tank. And then our team comp is really low presence, because it's a sniper and Soldier 76, plus... Doomfist. So it's really bad. So let's start the game anyway. I did like this brief exchange at the start because this is e this is us right here. Also, this is my Smurf lol. Just listen. Wait, wait for it. Oh great, Smurfs. I love Smurfs. I love me too. Like Just, nothing more needed to be said. I love me too. Nice. Fantastic. That's the kind of stuff I live for. So, we're currently doing this. It is difficult for us to get punished for the, for doing this as Doomfist because we're a very mobile boy. If robot, if road, robot? If Roadhog comes around the corner, we'll be upset because then we're basically dead. But, we just push Zarya into them. Zarya's tilted. That's a tilter right there. She's upset. Not only does she have to have the indignity of dying to Doomfist, she dies like this, right? She's gonna be upset for the rest of the game now, so good job, us. Now, we do immediately almost try and kill ourselves right after that, because we immediately just jump right back into the enemy team. Fortunately, and there's a Reaper there, no less, as well, but we managed to get away with it. Now we're gonna go for this Mercy. We get the Mercy, but then we misalign our jump and face plant directly into the wall, rather than going back through the gate. If we didn't collide with the wall, it would have been great, but unfortunately we collided with the wall. Um, very Level 300 Smurf, you're not fooling anyone. Mm -hmm. I try to tell them that it's my Smurf as well, but I'm, I have a silver border with four stars, so they don't really believe me, oddly enough. And then... My actual smurf is like five star bronze, so they don't believe me either. <laughs> this is a tragic, tragic story. I have a lot of free time. I don't know if you know. I have a lot of free time. So, we're in a scuffle over here. Very scary location to get into a fight with because Reinhardt's gonna kill us, like, not that. It's, Reinhardt's pretty good at killing Doomfist because he doesn't. He's a, you're an easy boy to hit, right? So if you give Reinhardt the opportunity, he'll fuck you up, usually. And being in a confined location with Reinhardt is a pretty good way to die. We we almost get away with it, but then we dash directly into D Death Blossom, so that's bad. We did manage to, like, basically get away with it before that. I wouldn't have recommended getting into the fight with Zarya and um, Reinhardt in the room, because... If if Zarya blocks, like, any of your abilities, it's basically all over. And if Reinhardt gets you in the corner in that room, you dead. At that point, you're just playing a fighting game, and it's just, you, it's just bad. You've been pinned in the corner by the better character. Not that that's hard. If Zenyatta gets pinned in the corner by Zenyatta, if Doomfist gets pinned in the co corner by Zenyatta, it's basically all over at that point. Like, it's not a hard bar, hard bar to b beat, you know? So we're going in, the enemy team, not exactly, not exactly coming in as a cohesive unit, which makes it rather easy for us to come down and just try to kill Mercy. We kind of fuck it up a bit, mechanically, but it's alright, because there was no one here to help Mercy, right? Like, Reinhardt was here, 
but like whole team started collapsing on him. This is what happens when Reinhardt and Mercy decide to go directly to the point, but they're the only ones who got the memo, right? They're basically fucked. Teamwork is an important skill in Overwatch, which is v awful news. Isn't that just terrible news, considering the way that this game is? So, this is, like, this is the thing with Doomfist, where it's like, Everybody, <laughs> easy clap, not even close. Never a doubt in my mind we were going to kill that Moira. This is the way with Doomfist, where it's like, everybody is kind of a bad matchup, but as long as you get the one punch in on them, you win the fight. Moira had us dead to rights. We landed the one punch. It's all right. We managed to pin Zarya against the wall. It's all over. That's all her health right there. Thank goodness they sort of fixed the collision issue, right? Where like nine times out of ten you would punch somebody and just watch them slide across the wall. Thank goodness they kind of fixed that. So Moira's up to no good over here. She is a villain. It's not exactly surprising that she's up to no good, but she's just she was just kind of over here on the point. Like she thought she was playing Sombra or some stuff or some such. By the way, I played Sombra after the uh, buffs of... Because God knows I wasn't going to boot up the PTR, so I've played it on live now. And um, Sombra is really easy to play suddenly. It's really nice. Also, glad to report, finally, somebody actually counters Tracer. Because here's the thing. They have buffed Sombra's hack time to the point where... You can just kind of hack Tracer. It's not a big deal anymore because it is essentially instant, right? It's not functionally, but the way Overwatch's like servers are as well, it's like even if she would should have actually interrupted you, she doesn't really. It still goes through because the cast time is just that low now. You just wait, you see her stop shooting at you for like a split second, pff, it's all over. Tracer's fucking dead now. And the gun is startlingly accurate. It is, Sombra is very easy to play now, and I know she's very easy to play now, because I played like eight games of Sombra today, and I actually won some of them. Incredible, I know. It's, that's how I know Sombra must now be quite easy to play, because even I won a game. Unbelievable. Anyway, so we've been, we've been frozen on this really awkward screenshot for a while, just like, oh fuck, Reaper's just like right here with the bubble on him. We're a really big boy, and Zenyatta kind of left us behind, so we die. Reaper is going to fuck a doom fist up, basically. Unless you punch him real good. This is how it is with doom fist, everybody with doom fist. It's like, yeah, they should beat doom fist. But if you punch him into the wall, you win. So that's there's that. You know, you got that going for you. Um, unfortunately, some boys are a little bit hardy. Reinhardt doesn't actually die, and he's got his team here with him to help him. So I just want everybody to appreciate this Widowmaker's a startling accuracy for a second. Wow. Four shots, one kill. It's better than most Widowmaker players, to be fair. I know it's better than me, but I ain't gonna stop me from making fun of you all the same. Re <laughs> Fucking Doomfist. Am I, you, you watch one game with Doomfist and it all falls apart. We've learned nothing today. We've learned absolutely nothing. Here, I'm go here's the brutal, honest truth, right? I've got no fucking clue how you play Doomfist. <laughs> No one does. No one knows how you play Doomfist, because no one plays Doomfist. Look at this. Not even close. No one no one actually plays Doomfist. This is the issue, right? We have no sample size to compare against, right? We got, like, one man in the entirety of existence who plays Doomfist. He fucking went to the top of the Tibetan Mountains, and he trained for a thousand years, and he finally got out of bronze as Doomfist. That's the, ex that's the Doomfist experience right now, right? God damn. We punch this boy, he doesn't collide with the rock. 
It's all over. What more do we have? We have nothing. We missed this Zarya. If we hit her, she was fucking dead. But we missed her, so we're just sad. We are too low to do this right now. I can tell you that one, right? Here, here's something I know with absolute certainty, right? Doomfist's a very big boy, and he's very easy to hit, therefore he's very easy to kill. Because he's not actually that survivable, right? So, you really can't go in when you're at, like, less than tracer health. Because you're gonna fucking die, basically. And, do we actually get away with it? Oh, we did! We got away- that's the worst part, is that we got away with it! But then we immediately went back in, and we lived lot way longer than we had any right to do. Junkrat's fucking going in, though! <laughs> Look at this man, what a god! <laughs> fucking- he killed Reinhardt as well! He fucking saw his opportunity, and he wasn't let it, gonna let it slide by, no sir. Look at that, we captured the objective, all us. You made this, I made this. <laughs> what a good, what an educative day it's been. We're learning so much today, aren't we? <laughs> the moral of the story, like, here's the moral of the story, right? Look at that, we hit her and she didn't die. <laughs> Did she actually climb with the wall? She did, but she didn't die! She had fuck must have had Torbjorn armor or something. Oh god, what a tragedy. At least she died in the end. Alright, so here's the bait and switch, right? We come in, Reinhardt's like, not on my Overwatch. Oh, psych! Ha, <laughs> I got like nine movement abilities. You didn't even get, not even a chance. My ult's even a movement ability. <laughs> Sucker. And now look at that. Through our cutting plan, we've gotten control of the high ground, because right, we baited Reinhardt back onto the objective with our body. It was all calculated. I have no doubt. <laughs> so we try to punch Zarya. We miss Zarya. That's really bad. I think we actually could have killed her. Because, yeah, we actually got, like, a good shot into her, and she was, like, l roughly half health. But we kind of gave up on it to go and hit other people instead. We should have just kept on that Zarya after that incident, especially since Zarya was out of position as well, right? I know, I'm, so I'm sorry for talking about the game as if it's an actual video game, right? Zarya was out of position, and she dropped rather low. We could have actually killed her right there, but we and we even punched her into the ditch, which is like, she's a dead, right? There's walls everywhere. But we gave up on it to go and hit other people. We could have killed Zarya and then come out of the ditch to fight other people instead. But we gave up on it. So there you go, there's your one piece of advice in the video. Now let's go back to watching the video game and having a good time. Are we gonna learn anything else? Forecast is bleak. Wave to Zarya. That's that's what I should look for. I, th I think this was post over no, post Doomfist buff, post Overwatch buff. Definitely, that's definitely true. But I think this was post o Doomfist buff. I almost said it again. Jesus Christ! What a shambles of a video it's been. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look to see if his shot seems more consistent. That looked startlingly more consistent. I'll give him that. The spread on that shot was very consistent. But, you gotta be touching these boys. Like, like that's actually, as, yeah, it's more consistent. That's a fucking widespread right there. You gotta be hugging these boys to make that work. To be fair, it is a shotgun. What do I really expect? Right? This is a man whose na who revolves largely around punching people. And, get fucked, grab pulse bomb, you dead. This is a man whose main gimmick is that his fist is really big, and his other fist is a shotgun. So what am I, am I really expecting him to be a powerhouse at long range? Probably not, to be fair. So we've got... Meteor Strike! That's the name of the ultimate. That's great. It's a very bad ultimate. So, it's like a 4 out of 10 if we're being generous, right? So I, I've muted the video, there we go. I tried just, I pushed the mute button, right, which is M, intuitively enough, and I just tried to push up to, like, adjust the volume to turn it back on. That doesn't work. You have to actually just push the M button again. This just upsets me that it functions that way. Like, I understand I've muted it, but I feel like just increasing the volume should unmute it. So we hear fire in the hole. That's scary. We've punched her. Oh, no. That was happening. 
fucking 10,000 years too late. When did she do that? It's like right as we go and punch over here. It's already too late by that point, though, basically. Orbital Strike is a very slow ultimate. It, this is part of the principal problem here. The other part the other part of the problem is that it's Doomfist, right? Orbital Strike's a really slow ultimate. If you're gonna combo with the Grav, you gotta basically push that button as soon as the Grav lands, or your people are gonna disperse as soon as you arrive. Especially when... So much of the cast has high mobility, right? Like, as soon as the Graviton is over, they just all immediately disperse. As soon as... Uh, Gra was our, Reinhardt still, like, there? Fucking almost said, like, nine different heroes. Reinhardt's still there? But, like, that's it, right? Everybody else, whew, gone. Not that many people actually got hit, though, to be fair. We punch Zarya. Tragically, doesn't kill her. She lives with, like, one hit point. Everyone's like, Zarya one, Zarya low! Unfortunately, she's disappeared into the room and is being healed, so not anymore. Try again? Oh no, we've missed. This is a lot of the thing with Doomfist, right? You, you basically just have to hit people, right? Like, Doomfist doesn't have much going for him. The thing that he has going for him is that he does a lot of damage if he hits you, right? Like, he is a very burst damagey boy. The problem is you have to hit it. If you miss, like, any of your cooldowns as Doomfist, you're basically dead, right? So, this is, this is like, the main issue that Doomfist has, is that the things he would theoretically be good at, everybody else is just kind of better at doing than him, right? Because I've no doubt Doomfist was designed with the intention of being a flanker hero, right? He's a very mobile boy who does a lot of burst damage. I'm sure he was designed with the intention of playing similarly to, like, Reaper, right? But slightly more mobile. The problem is, literally every other flanker is better than Doomfist now. E like, Sombra is also, like, objectively better, right? You could have perhaps debated previously, because, you know, alright, Sombra's really fucking hard to play basically, right? And she didn't do she doesn't she didn't do that much damage unless you were really good with your aim. Now, it Sombra's way easier. Yeah, yeah, every flanker is better and she's also like definitely a flanker now rather than being like a support because she doesn't gain ult charge from health kits anymore. Which is like w weird to me, but whatever. Um so it's just like every flanker is better than Doomfist. So you say to yourself, "All right, well, no, no, another thing that Doomfist can do is he can try and kill people who are diving on your team, and you can try and play him in, like, a bodyguarding way, right? There's a problem with that. Every other bodyguard hero is also better than Doomfist, right? Because, here's the thing, if you don't land the punch, you don't kill the person that's diving, right? At that point, you're just, like, hoping you hit him, kind of, with your other abilities, and hope for the best, try and heckle him. Like, if you miss, like, if you don't kill them, the, if you don't just, like, kill the person who's diving, you're not gonna bring much to helping the people bodyguard them, right? McCree's just better at that. Roadhog's better at that. Reaper's better at that. All the flankers are better than him. The tank, all the tanks are better bodyguards. Anything that Doomfist could do, he's just the worst option, essentially. That's, like, the main issue. There's just no reason to pick him over everyone else, right? You met, like, the flankers, there's reasons to pick them over each other, right? Tra like, you pick Ge like, you might pick Genji over Tracer because the map has more vo vertical mobility, right? Or ver more vertical movement required to it, like Numbani, right? You might say, alright, Genji's better than Tracer here because Genji has better vo vertical mobility than Tracer does. You might pick... Reaper over either of them because you look at their team and you say, oh, they got like three tanks or something like that, right? So I'm going to pick Reaper because he's he fights tanks real good, right? 
Um, you might pick Tracer because like the other two, maybe you don't, maybe you pass up Tracer even if those are true because you've got a, a Zarya on your team and Grav Pulse Bomb is like the strongest alt combo in the game, so maybe you pick Tracer anyway. There's a reason to pick them over each other, right? There's no reason to pick Doomfist. He's got nothing going for him, really. The thing he's got going for him is he does a lot of burst damage. The problem is the burst damage is hard to land. And, like, all the other heroes still do burst damage, right? That's the thing with this game, is that, like, damage happens very quickly. Healing also happens very quickly, but damage happens very quickly. Like, Tracer coming up to you and just boring straight through your skull is a lot of burst damage. Genji coming right up to you and right-clicking right into your face is a lot of burst damage. Reaper left-clicking you is a lot of burst damage. All of those things are easier to land than Doomfist's burst. Right? And if you mi if you miss those, you don't necessarily die, right? If you miss the right click as Doomfist, you might die. <laughs> you might you there's quite a strong possibility you'll die, actually. <laughs> there's he's just got nothing going for him. Defense is like, yeah, McCree, Flashbang is way better for dealing with flankers, Reaper is better at killing tanks, Roadhog is good at killing both. He he's just there's nothing going for him. Like Pre show if you if you think Doomfist has got something over any of the other alternatives for any of the heroes, please let me know. I'd be I'd be very interested to hear because from my perspective, he's got nothing. I guess like to be fair, that's one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Just oh my god, oh my oh oh. Let's watch it just one more time because it just feels so good. Oh, just right off the edge. Oh, right as he pushes Molten Core. Oh, feels so good. That's like 800 damage just right there. Oh, Lucio could do that easier. So could Farah. But oh, did it feel so good anyway. We're like, fuck you, Torbjorn. Oh. So, now as you can see, they've got four minutes and 13 seconds left. The video doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't go fantastically. Um, I'm sorry, my cursor's been on the screen. This is very bad. What terrible production quality. Oh no, we've been tired. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Fuck those shingles, though, am I right? Fuck them. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you don't need me to belabor the point on what went wrong there exactly, but oh god, it's it's just just like the thing. At least you know, like at least the left click is a little bit more consistent now. So you know that gives Doomfist some more consistent DPS, which is certainly nice. But like, what's the point, right? You know. Like, honestly, I just watched this game, and I watched it through earlier, and I was like... What do you even do to play this game better as Doomfist? And I just like, really don't know the steps, you know? It's just like... I feel like... I feel like the correct play is just push the H key, right? You know, but... So, look. That can happen to anyone to be fair, right? Like, you can get hit by Junkrat, Shrapnel, and um, Fire Strike at the exact same time, and that just kills you. Like, you don't necessarily need- that's not necessarily a Doomfist issue. But we are playing Doomfist at the time, right? So, like, it's obviously a Doomfist issue, right? You know, this is what the issue- this is- feels good. <laughs> this is part of the reason I've never really cared much about Scatter Arrow, right? Because, like, People complain about Scatter Arrow, like, oh, it's so unfair that, like, Hanzo can just kill you randomly with this one ability, right? To me, Scatter Arrow is no different than just getting hit by Helix Rocket, right? Like, it's essentially the same thing. You do just die as a result of that, usually, right? Like, you just get hit by Fire Strike the same time something else hits you. You just die, right? You're just not, you're just hanging around at, like, not full health. You get hit by Helix Rocket in, like, two shots, you die, right? To me, Scatter Arrow... Doesn't really matter, right? Like, it's not that different to getting bursted by something else. So...
like I'm I'm really just thinking about it, and I'm like, what do you do? You probably just like don't go for it, right? Because like you're just jumping into the entire enemy team essentially, and that's not good practice with any hero. Is to just go directly into the enemy team, right? And like yeah, we go for mercy. Mercy gets to just kind of leave, right? And oh no, <laughs> it looks like some serious C9ing just happened, right? Like, we see all five people alive, and they don't touch it, so, you know, that's cool. Fucking Tracer. You fucking seen Symmetra's victory pose with the fan? It's real, like, her legs just, like, practically, like, 90 degrees, like, 180 degrees out in either direction. Fucking incredible. Um, we learned nothing today. I feel like I also learned nothing. Um... Because here's the thing, like, I just watched the game, and I'm like, it's Doomfist, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, what do you do as Doomfist to to carry the game, right? I've seen Doomfist players carry the game, like, probably one, probably like three in lifetime, right? Prior to, like, them nerfing his hitbox, real easy. After they nerfed the hitbox, impossible. There was a very sharp drop-off after that point, right? Because that was the thing then, right? Is right after Doomfist came out, the... We, we thought of him as being a hard counter to Tracer, which we didn't really have, because it was real easy to land the punch, and it just killed Tracer, right? So that was great. And... Because it was so easy to land the punch, it was so easy to do the big burst damage that he has going for him. Also, people didn't know how to play against Doomfist yet, because he was the new hero. But then, a week later, they nerfed the hitbox on Doomfist very drastically. And then, fucking night and day, everyone just stopped playing Doomfist immediately after that. And it was it, because suddenly, it became extremely difficult to actually do anything. Because... All he has going for him is this big burst damage. If he doesn't land the big burst damage, he is doing nothing, right? Like, he doesn't do anything else, really, right? And here's the other thing. He's a very big boy, so he's very easy to hit. So, because he himself is doing nothing, and he is very big and easy to hit... The enemy team is generating a lot of ult charge off of you, and because you are so big and easy to hit, you are also easy to kill. Which then means that your team is actually then immediately playing 5v6, right? They're kind of playing 5v6 anyway, but it's just, Doomfist has very little going for him. And he's still buggy, he's still inconsistent, he's still just very hard to play. He relies on the enemy team like not playing well right? Because even, like, the slightest amount of teamwork basically makes it impossible for Doomfist to get anything done. Because or like, it doesn't even require teamwork. Like, all the Mercy has to do is walk between somebody else and Doomfist, and Doomfist doesn't kill Mercy anymore, right? Like, it's very difficult for Doomfist to do what he needs to do. All of the alternatives that you could pick are better than Doomfist, right? Doomfist fundamentally needs some kind of, like, drastic help, right? Or a very drastic meta shift. I can't even imagine the kind of drastic meta shift you need for Doomfist to suddenly be good, right? He needs some kind of, like, drastic buff. I think he, like, I actually think Doomfist probably needs, like, a large-scale rework, right? Like, I don't think he, as a hero, will function very well in Overwatch, like, ever, right? He's just one of those heroes that I don't ever foresee being very good. Like, Hanzo, I've never foreseen being good without, like, a drastic adjustments. Torbjorn, I never see being good without drastic adjustments. Same with Mei, right? Like, they need drastic adjustments to ever be, like, really good heroes. I think Doomfist is the same way, which is a shame, because he's cool. And I fucking, I wanted it really badly, right? When Doomfist was announced, I was like, I'm gonna be the greatest Doomfist who ever lived, and then... I immediately stopped playing Doomfist after a week. And now I just look at it like, how does it work? Like, how do you make it work? 
I don't know how you make it work. I don't think anyone knows how you make it work. That's why no one plays Doomfist, right? It's like... He's like the hero. That when you see somebody pick him, you go, Oh, that person's not really trying anymore, right? Like, you might see him pick Torbjorn and think the same way, but like... I don't always think that when I see Torbjorn, right? When I see Doomfist, I always assume that person has... I immediately assume that person has given up. I don't always think that with Torbjorn. I do always think it with Doomfist. Like, that's just the thing he has attached to him at this point, right? It's just, he's a joke. And I don't know how... I don't know how you make it not a joke, right? I don't know how you as a player ever get... To the point with Doomfist where you make him not a joke. You have to be, like, clairvoyant, right? You have to be some kind of extra-dimensional being. You have to be literally Obi-Wan Kenobi or some shit. I don't know. We learned fucking nothing today. And let's not pretend we did. Basically, this was just an excuse to joke and poke fun at Doomfist and other bad people, and we learned nothing. And it was also an excuse to be like, fuck, that's a bad hero. Don't play that hero. He's got like nothing going for him. Pick any of the alternatives. It's like, if you pick Torbjorn, I can tell you how you do well as Torbjorn. I can tell you the steps you take to actually do well as Torbjorn. I cannot tell you that for Doomfist. And I tried. Believe me, I tried. I... If I don't know how to play a hero that we're watching, right? Like, if I don't play the hero, like, I don't play, I didn't play Sombra. I want to play Sombra now, because she's mad easy, right? I didn't play Sombra. So when we watched the Sombra video, I went and I did research. And I was like, how do you play Sombra well? What do you do? What are the steps? I go watch the people who play Sombra. I tried to do this with Doomfist, right? Because I just told you, I don't know what you do. I went and I looked, and I tried so hard. And you know what? I found nothing that I thought was genuinely good advice. Nothing. There was all this, like, token shit that doesn't really mean anything, right? There's like, oh, play around your team and coordinate ultimates. Fucking that doesn't help you be good at Doomfist. That's just the most generic shit you can possibly say. That's the fuck it. I don't know what to tell you, so I'm just gonna tell you something that is generically true. And that, hope that will help you. Yeah, on a strictly speak, strictly speaking, yeah, that helps. But it doesn't actually help you play Doomfist well. I found so little genuinely helpful Doomfist advice, and a lot of the stuff I did find was before they nerfed Doomfist. <laughs> there seems to have been a drastic fall-off in people say trying to actually play Doomfist well, and trying to help other people play Doomfist well. Probably because, like, five people in the entire world play Doomfist. Fucking hell. By the way, good job, Reinhardt. That's a man after my own heart. Fucking love the shift key. Look here. Look. I'm not saying there's a direct correlation, but... Our Reinhardt, he got the blocked card, and we lost. Their Reinhardt, he got the damage done card, and he won. The stats don't lie. Thank you very much for watching. You didn't learn anything, I didn't learn anything, let's not pretend we did. Thanks for watching, hopefully it was entertaining.